Hello everyone, welcome, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ice. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Hey y'all. So you guys, in today's video, hope you guys on my hair. But you guys, in today's video, today we are doing a back to school makeup tutorial for all my high school girls, middle school girls, college girls, anyone that's starting back school. I'm going to be doing a super easy, super quick, low maintenance makeup tutorial. This makeup tutorial is going to be very beginner friendly and also it's not going to be too much, it's not going to be heavy. It's going to be also every day as well so you guys can do it every day. So I'm just going to get straight into the video so enough of me talking, let's get into the video. Okay you guys. So I just got my hair done, but I'm so insecure about my forehead. <sighs> okay, so I just put my hair up in a point to, I don't know, I do not know how people put their hair uh, in their face when they're doing their makeup. I cannot do that. But anyways, so the first thing I do before I apply any sort of makeup onto my skin, I'm going to make sure I go in and moisturize my skin. I'm using this moisturizer I got from Walmart. If you watch my makeup tutorials, I use this moisturizer a lot. after I moisturize my skin um like I said earlier this is just going to be very light makeup very minimal I'm not going to go in with foundation um instead I'm going to go in with my with a skin tint this is the morphe hint hint skin tint oh my gosh I'm almost out of this but like I really like this because it's very lightweight on my skin when I don't want to wear those you know when I want to have those no makeup makeup look so this is like the perfect thing for me you guys I'm going to be rubbing it onto my face actually because like I'm literally out so yeah so I just dotted it onto my face so I'm going to go in with the brush brush to blend it all out um you can go in with a beauty sponge I just like going in with the brush because like the product won't soak up as much also you guys you see I didn't go in with the primer so and if you're wondering, no, you do not need a primer when you're doing your makeup. Also, you guys, if I'm looking behind here, I have this big mirror behind me so I can really see myself properly. Okay, so next, I'm going to go in and apply concealer. I'm using the, also I forgot to tell you guys what shade I was in for the Morphe. I'm in the shade Hint of Cappuccino for anyone that wants some reference. I'm going in with the Born This Way Concealer, the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Butterscotch. And you guys, it's going to be very minimum. So I'm going to apply the concealer to my under eyes, forehead, and chin area. And literally that's it very minimal you guys so I'm going to grab a concealer brush this is the um, the pro concealer 71 by Sephora and I'm just going to blend that all out you guys oh, oh. also what I want to know comment below what grade are you in or if you're in college what major are you studying because I graduated from Georgia State University. I only got my associates though. But like, what what majors are you guys studying? And what college are you guys going to? Comment it down below. I know I got like some freshmen that's going. And if you are not a freshman, you're almost there, okay? Stick, stick in it because college is not easy, but you can do it. <laughs> you guys see like, it looks like I have no makeup on already, like, I love doing this makeup look. It's so minimal but so cute. Also, I have a burn right here. My hairstylist burned me with a hot comb. But also, um, I just want to also mention, um, if you're blending out your concealer, make sure to always take your time with the blending because you guys, if you don't know, blending is really like important in your makeup routine because you know you don't want any like streaks in your makeup. You want to make sure everything is well blended. Whoa, this literally is like a no makeup makeup look. 
So now we are done blending out my concealer. Next, I'm going to grab, ooh, next I'm going to grab this bronzer. I'm not gonna grab contour, bronzer. This is a Rare Beauty bronze, um, bronzer in the shade Good Energy. And I'm just going to apply that to my forehead, cheekbones, and my jawline area. And when you're applying your bronzer or contour, make sure you never go all the way down because you're gonna blend all the way down with your brush, so, or your sponge. So now I'm going to grab my contour brush. If you're a beginner and you're so, if you're someone who struggles to find like good set of makeup brushes, I sell makeup brushes that is just targeted for beginners who just struggle, you know, to do their own makeup. Each of my brushes are labeled, as you guys can see, to help you know which brush you're using and how to use them shameless plug but hey if you need good makeup brushes i am your girl this shop at ickcosmetics.com also the link is in the bio <laughs> okay so i'm just going to blend everything out make sure there are no creases and everything is well blended also when you're blending out your contour make sure to always go down make sure to always like do like this to make sure you're blending um, your contour in that specific area. You do not want to blend contour like all over, like how we blended our foundation, no. You also want to blend in, in a specific area when you do your contour to give you that like look. <laughs> also, if you all if you mess up, you can always go in with your sponge or brush that you used earlier to blend out and just go over it with the brush or sponge that you use. Okay, so next it's time for eyebrows. First, I'm going to get a spoolie. Mine is literally filthy. But I'm just going to brush up my eyebrows. So then I'm going to get the e.l.f. brow lift. Mine is like pretty empty. I'm just going to get my spoolie, just stick it in there. And just apply it to my eyebrows if that makes sense uh, I'm just gonna brush it up upwards with the gel hopefully that makes sense you guys I'm just brushing it up and I'm going to do the same thing on the same eyebrows also are you guys excited for first day of school Ew. hopefully you guys are I know when I was starting, and I was a little excited, <laughs> but not really. Like during like maybe like the third week, I was like, okay, I'm ready to get this over with. Like, <laughs> okay, then you guys after, so you guys see like my eyebrows is like brushed up. I'm going to get the same spoolie and just like shape it and like smooth it down. If that makes sense. If what I'm saying is not making sense, just watch how I'm doing it. Cause I am not the best explainer. Also, some of my makeup came off, so I'm going to go in with that concealer brush and clean that up. And also, I don't use a concealer brush to clean it up. You can do that. But, like, I guess I kind of am because I'm using the concealer brush, but I'm not defining it. So, next, I'm going to grab the Rare Beauty Blush. I'm going to grab in the color Happy. I really like these blushes. They're just so cute. And I'm just going to apply it on the apple of my cheekbones. like so then i'm going to get a blush brush and just blend that out from my collection and you guys you just see how it just blends out so like perfectly into my skin that's what i really like about my brushes like they just blend so ugh, so effortlessly into your skin like ugh, obsessed and also i'm just going to brush it upwards upwards Okay, so now that I apply, finish applying all my liquid products, I'm next. I'm going to grab my a brush. You can go and grab in um, a sponge. It doesn't really matter. What I'm doing is just setting all my makeup to make sure it does not move. I'm going to go in with a translucent powder. This translucent powder is by Ami. Ami Cole. If you are a black girl, I highly recommend this powder. 
because it literally just it doesn't leave a white cast <laughs> like other powders do it's like literally made for black girls so i'm gonna tap off that axis and just apply it everywhere to make sure my skin does not move oh. you see that <laughs> also open here as well Okay, so now we are all powdered up and everything is set. So now our makeup will not move. Yeah, we're literally halfway through the makeup tutorial. Next, what I'm going to do is apply, go in and apply mascara. If you have lashes, you do not have to go in and apply mascara. You can actually if you got mad. If you just want that more like, you know, that more, you know, volume, voluminous um, look to your lashes, you can. But I have no lashes right now, so I'm about to go in and apply mascara. This is the Monster Big, Monsieur Big by Anacone. But yeah, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, guys, so I just applied, finished applying my mascara. It's like longer than it should have, but I finished. Next, to set my makeup in place, I'm going to go in with the Magic Collection. This makeup spray I bought from Beauty Supply, I do not really recommend it because it don't really set, I, like in a second, I'm gonna get like a little bit oily. And while that is drying, next thing you want to go and do is apply your lip combo. Okay, so usually what I go and do, I will go in and buy like, go in with a clean pad and just wipe off the excess makeup I will have on my lips because you do have makeup still on your lips. But I'm just going in with this. So my lip combo is kind of complicated. <laughs> but you can still do it so by the way i love this lip combo this is my favorite lip combo i love doing this i'm going to grab a brown lip liner and just overline my lips a little bit okay so this is what it looks like then I'm going to grab a second lip liner, but this shade is like a peachy shade. I'm just going to go in and just line, go in under the brown lip. I like going in with two lip liners because it gives me like this ombre look. Next, I'm just gonna blend it all out. Then also, you guys, a tip. You can go in with a, with a brush and just clean up around to make sure everything is nice and straight. Then I'm going to go in and grab lip gloss. This is the e.l.f. lip gloss in the shade Rose Envy. This is what it looks like. And just apply that. Actually, I lied. I'm going to go in like with this pink lip gloss instead and i'm just going to go in with like a little bit you guys just a little bit because I'm, i don't want it to look ashy like this you guys and just blend it all in and then finally with a lip gloss i'm just gonna apply that on top where is this hair coming from Okay guys, so here is the final makeup look. Super easy, super quick. Like I said, anyone can do this. This is awesome. This, anyone can do this, you guys. So yeah. If you like the makeup look, comment it down below. Y'all, I'm obsessed with this look. It's like, it looks like, it don't look like a lot of makeup and it looks like you took your time with the makeup, but like we really didn't. It looks like, like this makeup took a lot of effort because it looks so good, but we really didn't because you know, we only took like, like the makeup look shouldn't take you like more than 15 minutes, 20 the most. But yeah, <laughs> um, I just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you like it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to, to the channel, to my channel. I post videos every Wednesday and Sunday, so make sure you subscribe because every Wednesday and Sunday you're gonna get a new video from me, and that's on period. Mm. But again, you guys, thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys in the next video.